What's up my wonderful peeps? Sports of the Bone here again man Shout out to all the viewers, the subscribers and the followers Big up on yourself So yesterday I was taking a look at an article That was published by the Guyana Times And the article basically surrounded something that Former West Indies captain Sarwan said So we're just going to take a look at what was said And whether or not we are in agreement with what um, Sarwan said yeah man, so the former top order batsman Sarwan is quoted as saying um, Shimran Hetmeyer is the most talented batsman that he has seen since Christopher Henry Gale and Marlon Samuels And you know we are talking within the Caribbean, right? Um, now, um, based on what I saw in the article and the comment section um, People were saying that boy, this is a very bold statement So we're going to take a quick look at what um, Hetmeyer's Test and ODI stats look like thus far I mean, you know, he hasn't played a lot of games thus far But we're going to take a look at the stats um, And as you would probably remember Hetmeyer made his debut in the year 2017 His test debut in the year 2017 You know, and he has found consistency very hard to come by thus far But we're going to break down the test and ODI numbers To see what is happening thus far Now, just before we go into the runs or into the stats When pressed and asked what Exactly, um, it is that Hetmeyer needs to be successful. So one says runs. He just needs to score runs. He needs to be hungry for runs. I want to talk about hungry for runs, going out there and batting for long periods of time, not just going out there and playing two shots and, and, and then going back and sit down. Talking about batting for long hours, being hungry for runs. And personally, I believe that Hetmeyer is a very talented player. This isn't the first video that I am doing where Hetmeyer is concerned. I believe he's very talented and he's capable of playing almost any shot. You know, me see the man play some very good shots in a ODI and T20 cricket. But, um, you know, he needs to work on his temperament. Uh, similar to, to Jermaine Blackwood, somebody that needs to learn how to, to tempo his innings, you know. So this is what I think about Hetmeyer. The guy is talented. The guy is able to play basically any shot. But he needs to learn how to bat for a long period of time. And learn how to read the game, um, the situation and apply um, the batting based on what the situation requires That is how I, I see it as it regards to Hetmeyer Alright, so let me just quickly read off some stats that I have here for Hetmeyer So far he has played 16 test matches Scoring at an average of 27.93 He has so far amassed 550s with 93 runs being his highest you know so the, the the century still eludes him he hasn't managed to score a century as yet but on a couple of occasions he really looked very good getting those um half a centuries you know so he just needs to push on as he regards to ODI cricket now he has so far played 45 matches scoring at an average of 36.6 and he has scored five centuries and four half centuries. So we see where the shorter format of the game um, is a bit on the better side. You know, five centuries thus far, very good. We're talking about playing 45 ODI uh, matches, scoring five centuries and four half centuries. That is actually very good. And the average is 36.6. So, you know, only improvement. You know, we, he, there is still room for improvement. And we see that this youngster is extremely talented. And he's quite capable of scoring runs, especially when you talk about the shorter format of the game. Because we would have seen him in 2020 cricket, especially in those different franchises um, over there in India, in the CPL and things like that. Very um, capable when it comes on to the shorter format of the game. But a lot of batsmen would have started out very aggressive. Look at David Warner, Chris Gale, Sewag. These are all guys that would have played a lot of test cricket. And they're all aggressive cricketers. So, you know, we just need to rope him in and to try and make sure that we, we kind of manage his temperament and thing like that but he's quite capable and he's I think he's about 24 um, not old and not too young right there where you expect a player to be um, blooming very well where sports is concerned 24 is a ripe old age when it comes on to international um, sports um, it's not very old but enough experience 45 ODI matches that is enough experience to, to be pulling your weight and to be buckling down in the team you know so right now we just want to help my to start scoring some runs and you will remember that he he would have pulled out of the England tour in the summer 
and he also pulled out of the Bangladesh tour. So that is an up that those were two opportunities to go over there and get some runs. But at the end of the day, we have to look at it. A player is well within his right to pull out if he's not comfortable based on what is going on um, around the world right now. I mean, we as the fans, we want to see them and we want to know that the youngsters are playing. But I mean, a man is well within his right to pull out if he's not comfortable. Um, but at the end of the day, we have to know that the man is able to go out and make use of him talent. You understand? Because he's not getting any younger. And I think November 2019 was the last time when Hetmeyer played a test match for West Indies. So we see that he is out of test match um, practice. You know, and with how West Indies cricket is going on now, we need all of the batsmen that we can get, all of the talent that we can manage to be um, to be a part of the setup. You understand? So we are missing out on his um, ability to score runs. But all in all, I am in agreement with um, Sarwan. Hetmeyer is one of, if not the most talented batsman that um, would have come out of the West Indies since probably Marlon Samuels and Christopher Henry Gale. I mean, we would have seen some extremely talented cricketers we're talking about, our Shea Hope, our Kirk Ed Edwards, our Adrian Barrett, um, our Craig Brathwaite. You know, but um, these guys are all guys that are talented in their own right. But based on what I would have seen of Hetmeyer, where raw talent is concerned, I would probably put him a notch above um, some of those guys right there. But uh, having said all of that, you know, we just want to know that Hetmeyer is still there and there about and will be in the West Indies setup. Because at the end of the day, you want to utilize your most talented players when they are in the ripe old 20s. You understand? And this is where he needs to um, pin down a spot in the team and to push on you understand we don't want it to be a case where where his career just basically frizzle out we don't want that we want the talented youngster to come in to buckle down and to be a rock in the middle of the right there for West Indies cricket you understand uh, he could probably cement down himself in that number four spot who to tell you know that based on how West Indies cricket is going right now if Hetmeyer should buckle down and decide to bat and play some cricket then more than likely he will be one of the first names on the paper whenever we are going overseas but um having said all of that just to do this video to let you all know that I am in agreement with Sarwan somewhat um, that Hetmeyer is one of if not the most talented player um, batsman that we would have seen since the likes of Marlon Summers and Christopher Henry Gale you know but we just need him to be more not even want to say dedicated because as me say based on what is going on a man have him a man is well within his own right to pull out if he want to pull out of a, of a series you understand but we just want the man to settle down and play some cricket but that are just my thoughts on the whole thing sports to the bone keeping you informed please remember to like share leave us a comment if you have not yet subscribed remember to subscribe to the channel i'm out